Hi, my name is Coldbeer and let's start with The Way of Wrath. This game was announced a few years ago and I was lucky to play the alpha build. At that time it was filled with bugs and glitches, but I instantly recognized the potential this game has and I was right. With the years passing by, The Way of Wrath looks better and better every time I check on it. It may not be the prettiest game, the color palette is a bit dull as well, but the gameplay and plot is really nice. You will forge your path as a Bronze Age tribal chieftain and lead your tribe into a fight for survival against all odds as the elements, time and the relentless foes seek to wipe your people out. But it's not that easy to wipe you. You are not some butthole, you are a chieftain of Bronze Age heroes and you will show your puny enemies who's the real Bronze Daddy here. Game will be released someday this year, so put it into your wishlist, it will not hurt to see how it will look on the release date and read some comments. And this video is brought to you by The Rich Wallet. I never knew I needed it, but now I never go anywhere without it. It's so much smaller and better than my usual wallet. And you know what I like the most? Ridge Wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. Yeah, you heard right. You buy it once and that's it. You will have it forever and can pass it on to your grandkids or your clones. You never know, the future is now. Also, it is a perfect gift for upcoming Father's Day. Help your father change that bulky abomination. Tell me, please. With this awesome Ridge Wallet, he will be impressed. <laughs> Or you know who will also be impressed? You! Yes, you! Because Ridge Wallet is great for everyone! It's the best for me because it feels nice in my pocket and it's easy to use. Look how happy I am! It holds up to 12 cards, plus there is a room for a cash or two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby! You can choose from over 30 colors and it protects you from digital pickpocketers. Hacker man! Check out the link in the description and use my secret code to get a 50% discount. This is a risk-free offer. You can test drive the wallet for up to 45 days and you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. The Ridge Wallet. Carry less, live more. Arkeland. This is an upcoming party-based RPG game where you explore the world in first person. Just like in Skyrim, Morrowind, or it even has the vibes of Might and Magic franchise. But when the fighting starts, the view goes up to top-down perspective and you are thrown into a tactical turn-based battle. That is really great, innovating the well-known genres takes some bravery and balls, because you never know what to expect from the gaming crowd. Anyway, so far it looks really good. Here you can take your party of adventurers through a vast open world and explore as you wish, find secrets and run into trouble, get involved in conflicts or just pursue your own goals and discover what lies beyond the horizon, because everything that you can see in the distance is reachable. Developers are promising that the game system will ensure that every battle matters and every opponent is scary. Yeah, we will see how true is this when I'm level 60 or something and I cast our Magadon just by blinking. Survive the Fall a global cataclysm has brought an end to civilization as we know it. To be exact, an asteroid hit the Earth in the year of 2023. So Bruce Willis has failed us after all. Anyway, those who were in the furthest part of the planet during the catastrophe survived, but the world still looked like hell. And finally, after many years of darkness, sudden climate changes, numerous fires, extreme temperature fluctuations, the conditions stabilized and allowed you to try to explore the post-apocalyptic Earth. As one of the survivors, you will have to, you know, survive in this hostile world, find allies and with their help build a settlement, for only as a community you will be able to survive these harsh new times. So be sure that your group is the one who survives and not the others. Screw the others. Anyway, this is a weird mix of tactical combat, survival and strategy games. Looks cool, but the release date is not known yet. And did I mention that this is a survival game about surviving survivors? Huh, did I? Weird. Zoria. Last year I played the demo version and now Zoria is one of the few things I still think about. Aside from, you know, potato salad and boobs. To be exact, I'm waiting for a full release because I will definitely play it again. I had a lot of fun and I think that Zoria is a hidden gem. It's a bit further from AAA quality, but it's really enjoyable. And if you don't believe me, you can try the demo version yourself. It's free on Steam. Game feels like a mix of Warcraft free graphics and Dungeons and Dragons playstyle. If they manage to make the whole game with the quality as they have made the demo version, this will be a hit, no doubt. Full version will be released someday this year. Broken Roads 
This is a narrative-driven RPG that brings exploration, strategic turn-based combat and meaningful philosophical choices. This time is post-apocalyptic Australia with authentic Australian locations and environments. So a land filled with spiders and koalas, as I see them from my Lithuanian perspective. To be honest, Broken Roads is more like a classic Fallout than Baldur's Gate, but it would be a shame if I threw this game out of this list just because it has no dragons, elves or penis people. Yeah, I know what you like. So in Broken Roads you can control up to six party members and enjoy hand-drawn artwork, though for me it looks a bit too cartoonish. I like more realistic dark environments, but hey, it's just me. Despite that, the game looks nice and it uses a unique morality system, which is based on four areas of moral philosophy. This reminds me of Disco Elysium a bit, but don't get your hopes that high up. Urban Strife this is an old-school looking turn-based post-apocalyptic survival RPG. Here you'll recruit deranged locals into your militia, befriend local factions and fight those who you hate. With all the benefits of Unreal Engine, real bullet ballistics, day-night cycle, fire with dynamic material consumption and spread, advanced sound propagation mechanics, AI NPCs with independent lives and faction-based morals, also hunger, thirst, wounds and sickness, advanced modding support and hordes of zombies. Here you'll start as an amnesic survivor, rescued half dead by the kind people. You need to raise up and become a true leader, rebuild the pillage camp and bring back hope to the hearts of the survivors. Not gonna lie, all that looks and sounds impressive. Let's hope they will live up to their words as well. Eldorn Remember Archelon? So Hildorn looks like another game with the same first-person exploration but isometric combat. Visually it reminds me of Elder Scrolls Morrowind or Oblivion, and that is never a bad thing. Imagine, if your girlfriend visually looked like a Morrowind, every gamer would envy you. So as developers of Eldorn say, the game is primarily made for and from hardcore gamers and those who prefer games with high challenge level. An interesting part of traveling around will be the management of camping. When your characters need to stop for a while in the open, they may be assigned various actions via the camping management menu. The results of these actions will strongly affect party members' statistics, possessions and overall group's performance. You know, I recently let Vampire Astarion drink all my blood in Baldur's Gate 3, so now I'm dead. Those are the consequences of camping without, you know, IQ. Sovereign Syndicate here in this Victorian steampunk CRPG will explore an open world filled with mystery and danger. You can choose from three playable characters with branching stories that intertwine, investigate, interact and take action to leave your mark on the world and its inhabitants. You will not find any random stat points here, you will have to use your skills to level them up and trust your fate to the innovative tarot card chance system. Here you can solve problems with combat, persuasion, magic or even explosives. The game is heavily influenced by Fallout, Baldur's Gate and even Discord. Elysium. Sovereign Syndicate may very well be a hidden gem, or at least a nice polished rock. Project Witchstone this game was announced a long time ago, so some of you probably started to worry about its future, but I have good news. In a blog entry, developers wrote that Witchstone's development is funded. We have the time and backing we need to fully finish the game. That's always good news. The game itself, as developers say, is based in a living and reactive world. You will be offered options to roleplay your character and influence the environment, capturing the fun and freedom of pen and paper RPG campaign. You can manipulate and shape the world as you see fit, pitting NPCs against each other in incriminating whole factions and aligning powerful allies to your cause. The game offers you freedom to live the adventure you want. There is no overarching predefined story, your decisions will craft a world in which you will experience unique gameplay. And now don't forget to check out the sponsor of this video, the Ridge Wallet and their awesome wallet designs of various materials and colors by clicking the link in the description. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you <laughs> next time, bye!